Hi guys. I'm going to show you how to eight man and draw a bore model for the elements on the periodic table that we use in eighth grade. So here we go. First thing I want to do is I wanted to draw a periodic table box so you can see what it actually looks like if you were looking at your own periodic table. So I'm going to do beryllium. Okay. And I know the mass of beryllium. Alright, so that's what you'd see on a periodic table box. So let's first do 8 man for beryllium. So what I like to do is draw it out first so I know um, where the information goes and it's all going to help me out. Alright, let's start from here. This is the atomic number. I got that number by counting the number of protons. That's how all the elements on the periodic table were found. So, so if the A is 4, so is that A. The protons is how I got that number 4. And the electrons, in the 8th grade, we only talk about stable atoms. So the electrons and the protons are always equal to each other. Now, let's go to the mass. Now the mass number is a little bit different because it's decimals, 9 decimal 0, 1, 2. In science we round, remember, 49 cents or less, leave it at rest. 50 cents or more, add one more. So I always teach my guys, look at those two numbers. If that is 50 cents or more, you add one. If it is less than that, you leave it alone. So since it is less, I'm going to leave it alone, it makes it 9. When I do this simple math, 9 minus 4, it tells me how many protons or neutrons I have. All right, we got eight man done. Now we got to do is draw it. So let's start with the arcade, the nucleus arcade. And who likes to hang out in the nucleus? Perky Patty proton and nerdy Nelda neutron. All right, now I'm gonna. All I got to do now is just kind of match up the information. So I know I have four protons. So I'm gonna write that four. I'm done with it, so I like crossing out the information just in case I don't want to go back and have to draw it. Now, again, I'm looking at the letter. Here is the letter N, and I just find the N and write the number. Now I know how many neutrons and protons are in the nucleus, and these should add up to the mass number. And the mass number was 9, and guess what? 4 plus 5, 9. Easy peasy. Next up, we're going to draw the electrons. Now, the electrons hang out someplace a little bit different. They hang out in the electron cloud, not in the nucleus. So I'm going to draw one ring um, to start with. Now, how many electrons do I need to draw? I have to draw four of them, according to this information. You have to remember the rule that we taught you. And the rule we taught you was... In the, there are three possible layers in the eighth grade. We only draw the first three periods. So in those three, the first layer fits two, the second layer fits eight, and the third layer fits eight. Once you remember this, you always fill from the small one to the outer rings. So we're going to draw the electrons that exact same way. We're always going to fill from inside out. So I know that beryllium has four electrons. So I'm going to draw two. Guys, I like drawing them in pairs, and I like drawing them as negative signs, little dashes. So it reminds me, electrons are negative, so I do a little minus sign. Now I'm out of room. I don't have any more room in that electron uh, level, that energy level. So I'm going to have to draw another one in order to fit the remaining amount of electrons that I have to draw. All right. So let's draw. I got two already drawn. I need to draw four. Easy. One, two. Again, draw them as minus signs. But these guys on the outside, they're a little bit special. And the reason they're a little bit special is because they are valence electrons. So I'm going to do a little bit of something special to them right there. Um, these guys right there, those are the valence electrons. Why is that so special? Valence electrons tell you how reactive you are. Um, elements in group 1 and 17 are very reactive. Elements in group 18 are not as reactive. They're, um, they're what we call the noble gases because their electron levels are full. So this is it, guys. This is a Bohr model. This is 8-man. This was beryllium. A um, couple other things. I'll probably make another video that shows you how to draw a larger one in one of the larger groups. And we're going to talk, uh, talk about the relationship between the group number and maybe... 
the valence electrons, how you don't always have to draw to get that information. All right. See ya.